Local hospitals preparing for a potential increase in patients. Local 12's Clancy Burke reports from UC Medical Center on what they're doing. Cases here are as bad as they've ever been. Right now, Hamilton County officials are pleading with people to stick to the COVID guidelines. And as they do, they're preparing for worst case scenarios. The president of UC Health said there's a group of about 300 officials who get together every single week, at least twice a week. He says they're constantly looking at the numbers. They're seeing, do we have enough ventilators? Do we have enough hospital beds? What about nurses, doctors, PPE? As of right now, those numbers look good. Another bit of good news is we're seeing less ICU admissions than in the spring and summer. That means we're identifying these symptoms early and we are getting people treated. But the problem is hospitalizations in the region are growing at an exponential rate. In the beginning of the month, there were about 90 of them. And now suddenly there are more than 200. Krista Heisen with the Health Collaborative tells me even though we've learned a lot since the spring and summer, we're now facing new challenges. You know, back then we had the weather on our side, so it was gradually getting warmer. People were going to be outside. Distancing is easier to do. And now that, you know, it's getting a little bit colder, indoor activities are allowed to happen now. Even if you have never gotten a flu shot in your life, doctors are asking you to please do that this year. They say they want to keep hospitalization numbers down as much as they can. For now, reporting outside UC Medical Center, Clancy Burke, Local 12 News. Right now, UC Health and TriHealth both say they have no plans to suspend elective surgeries.